Hello everybody, welcome back. In this presentation I will show you how to implement federation between a Microsoft Office 365 subscription and your private identity system exposed through Shibboleth. First of all, let's give a look at the scenario we are going to implement. We have our network on the left with a user's directory that could be Active Directory, OpenLDAP, or another one that is able to be exposed uh, through Shibboleth. In fact, Shibboleth is a service running in your network which is able to receive authentication requests from the outside through a secure channel, delegate authentication to the user's directory, and respond to the requester using a standard protocol with a so-called token or assertion containing the needed information like username, email address, first name, and any other attributes that Shibboleth is configured to collect. On the right side instead, we have the services that should be consumed by the users that we have in our network. The point is that the passwords only exist in our network. So when a user tries to access an Office 365 service like email, SharePoint, or other online Microsoft resources, it redirects the user to its federation service which is the only token service which Microsoft can accept tokens from. The Federation Gateway knows which is our identity provider and sends the user there, Shibboleth in this case. Shibboleth delegates the authentication to the directory service like Active Directory or LDAP and once the user is authenticated it builds the assertion containing the attributes that the Federation Gateway requested. The two attributes that Shibboleth passes within the assertions to the Microsoft Federation Gateway are the UPN, the user principal name, and a user ID known as immutable ID. Such assertion is validated by the Federation Gateway, which we previously configured to accept tokens created by our Shibboleth server. And then the user is given another token, which she can finally present to the online service to get access. Here are the main steps I'll drive you through. We'll start from the prerequisites that you have to gather together before starting, including the piece of software that you should download. Then we'll see how to prepare your federation server, which is part of your private network in terms of certificates, users directory and Shibboleth installation. In a federated scenario, the user's provisioning but must be performed properly in order to make sure that we get a shadow account in the cloud matching the real account that we have on-premises. And the common key here is the immutable ID that I mentioned in my previous slide. Then we'll see how to convert a normal domain registered in Office 365 into a federated domain. Once the federation is set up in the cloud, we must configure the local identity provider properly for either passive clients, web browsers, and active clients like Outlook 2013, as we will see in this step. And finally, we'll test our solution with different client types. So let's now start with prerequisites and downloads. On your side, in your network, you need at least a federation server with the ability to request and install certificates. The server must be reachable from the outside on the SSL port 443 by default. In other words, it must have a public name and a public certificate for that host name. The server must be a domain controller, which in production environment might run on a dedicated server. And we need a Windows PowerShell for configuring the federation with Office 365. Such configuration is out of scope for this presentation, so I will assume that you have already implemented it. Then we need a few tools to generate certificate requests, convert them to different formats, and finally install them on our server. In fact, Shibboleth typically runs on an Apache server. Then we need to download the Shibboleth stuff and a couple of libraries that we'll use to connect to the Microsoft Office 365 Azure Active Directory. Server side, we need an Office 365 active subscription containing the domain that we are going to federate. We need an academic or enterprise level plan in order to do this. 
But now, let's go and prepare the Federation server, starting from the certificates. In fact, as I said, Shibboleth runs on Apache on a secure channel, so we must install an SSL certificate on it.